Okay, so we'll be talking about another concept in pharmacology, and this is what the basal gyrus reflex, okay? So in the basal gyrus reflex, we'll be talking about the definition of this concept. Uh, we'll be talking about the characteristics of this concept. And um, we'll be talking about some possible conditions where you can see the barrels the basal gyrus reflex, okay? So for the basal gyrus reflex, we say that a basal gyrus reflex is known as what basal gyrus phenomenon. Um, it's a reflexive response to certain stimuli, okay? And these stimuli are particularly what brought in by drugs, okay? And these stimuli will affect the cardiovascular system, okay? All right. So it will affect the cardiovascular system, okay? Cardiovascular system. You can see this. There's a reflex basically affecting the cardio uh, the cardiovascular system so if it is affecting the cardiovascular system there are some characteristics that we are supposed to look at uh, we said that it is characterized by what bradycardia and bradycardia is what a slowed heart rate it is characterized by what hypotension hypotension is what lowered blood pressure it is characterized by what increased vasopressin that's what anti-diuretic hormone release that means in basal gyrus reflex, you will not be urinating, okay? Or you'll be urinating just a mild. Okay? So you see it. Just basically stimulus, um, stimulus affecting the cardiovascular system, all right? So these are the characteristics. You hold it, cardiac hypotension, and what? Increased vasopressin, that's antidiuretic hormone. So the reflex is often seen in response to what? Certain medications like what nicotine, levosimedan. Okay, here we have what dopamine and dobutamine. You understand? So, at least you have like four examples to wow your teachers with. All right, so we have also increased vagal tone and we have stimulation of the vagus nerve. This is stimulation of the vagus nerve. So, the basal gyrus reflex is thought to be a protective mechanism to prevent further stimulation of the heart and blood vessels okay so it is like a protective mechanism when you're taking some drugs that uh, if the heart is still functioning in the optimal state it will affect you then the basal gyrus reflex is like protective mechanism right to protect the heart and its vessels so however not protect only the heart and its vessels by the heart and its vessels to protect the whole body Okay, so however, in some cases, it can lead to adverse effects such as well, hypertension, bradycardia, which may be harmful in certain situations, okay? So this is what the basal gyrus reflex, okay? Basal gyrus reflex, stimulation of the vagus nerve, causing what? Bradycardia, hypertension, and here we have an added word, peripheral vasodilation, all right? So... Another one is what? Let's go again. Bradycardia, hypertension, peripheral vasodilation, and what? <laughs> I'm kind of like skipping. And what's the last one? Increased vasopressin. Okay, that's increased release of what? Antidiuretic hormone. All right, so see you guys pretty soon.